Hello everyone, welcome back to Capricorn Tech Tuesday. So today we will be talking about this amazing feature Autodesk has for us that is the desktop connector for Autodesk Docs. Okay, so before starting, let me introduce that we are Capricorn, a Win Zero company, your digital and net zero partner. Okay, so cloud connective drive. So it offers you various features like opening, viewing, editing, and syncing your data, which you have uh, made up in docs into your local desktop. Okay. So you can open your files offline. So cloud is an online platform. Obviously you can use this cloud connective drive, which is desktop connector to access your folder structures and files, which you have created in docs offline uh, through this cloud connected drive. You can view your files on cloud or even on your authoring tools. You can add your files on your authoring tools, save them and sync them back automatically into your docs platform. Okay. So if we see here, this is the interface of Autodesk Construction Cloud Docs. So the, these are the various folder structures and files we have created there in Docs. And this is the local desktop, which have the connected drive uh, for this cloud base, uh, cloud structure here in your local desktop. So if you can see here, all the folder structures you have created there are automatically synced to your local desktop, right? So let's, uh, we will see it uh, in detail later. So let me just first introduce that uh, Autodesk Construction Cloud, it's a cloud-based platform which constitutes three tools, BIM Collaborate Pro, Autodesk Takeoff and Autodesk Build, all three of them uh, functions in uh, different phases of the construction prog project. As the project progress, uh, different tools come in function. And the docs is as we have been talking uh, lately in uh, previous videos of the series. Uh, docs is the document management platform of uh, Autodesk Construction Cloud. And uh, today we will be discussing desktop connector, which is the local desktop connected drive for docs. Okay. So let me just show you what it is. So I am here opening my local desktop folder. So here, uh, this is the icon for Autodesk docs. So uh, for desktop connector. So you have to install it on your personal computers and then only you can uh, access your folders and files from your cloud here in your local desktop. Okay, you have to sign in with the same ID uh, which we have been using for ACC and then all your uh, data which you have, which, which you can access there. Uh, you can access here in your local desktop as well. So if I click here, it will enlist uh, all the accounts which I am part of. So these are the different accounts which I am part, part of. Let me just open one account and show you what all we can access. So see here in this account, these are the all the projects which have I which I am part of. Okay, so all these projects. If I go to one project, it will give me all the folder structures which have been created in the uh, cloud platform. So let me just open the cloud platform sideways. So you see here the same project which I have opened in local desktop. I've opened in here in cloud and uh, this is the folder structure. So you can see here in uh, it has been all synced uh, automatically as it was there in the cloud platform. So anytime I can access my files from this local desktop folder. Okay, so let's open one folder and see. So you see here the similar folder structure as it was there is has been replicated here. All the files whenever it will be uploaded there, it will sync here. Okay. 
so with the current version so you can be sure that you are op opening what version you are opening okay so you can just open your any type of uh, file uh, types as uh, what uh, doc supports it uh, it also supports the, uh, the similar file types like uh, revit or cad and many more so you can just open your autocad file edit it and then sync it back to the cloud you can update your versions from here as well okay so in this way it becomes easier to access your common data environment uh, locally so this was uh, how desktop connector for Redis docs functions that's it for today's video keep tuning for uh, next video thank you